now I know. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Body Talk. This is Lolita Moore, your clinical nurse consultant. And today I just want to speak briefly on chest pain, give you a few tips on what to do if you or someone you love is experiencing chest pain. You should note that chest pain is a very serious symptom that tells our, our body that our heart is in trouble, that there could possibly be critical situation occurring with your heart function, which is also known as cardiac function. If this is the case, your cardiac muscle or your heart muscle is compromised in the moment or in the time of you experiencing chest pain. And it may present symptoms of shortness of breath, pain, pressure, also, generally, most people are familiar with chest pain occurring to the left chest wall, but chest pain can also occur to the right chest wall. Also, chest pain is known to occur in the upper back area. So it is important to understand these symptoms, to recognize that you may be having chest pain and in fact may be in serious trouble. Some of the other things that you'll want to take note of is the duration of the chest pain. That is a heavy indicator as to whether you can weather the storm or whether you should take a trip to the ER. So it is customary that if you have chest pain that lasts up to five minutes or about five minutes, then you should call 911 immediately. You should not attempt to take yourself to the hospital or drive yourself to the hospital because time is of essence and the time that it takes you to get in a car or have someone take you to the emergency room is time that can be spent by the paramedics treating you and working on you on your way to the hospital. So time is really important. Timing, I should say, is really important. If you have heart disease, you are more likely to be vulnerable to having attacks on your heart due to poor circulation. There are other things that I will discuss with regards to cardiac function in a separate video. I basically want to just highlight what you should do in an emergent situation if you may be having a heart attack. Anytime your cardiac function is compromised, it is an, in fact an attack on your heart. But there is a need, an emergent need for you to have your cardiac function or heart muscle further evaluated by a doctor. Also to have some lab tests done, blood tests and imaging done, also an EKG to determine if in fact you are having a cardiac arrhythmia or at risk for having a heart attack, which you may already know is deadly. So you want to make sure that when you get to the ER that you have an EKG done. That's more than likely what paramedics will do on the way to give a report to the doctor. Then when you get there again, they will do an EKG. And an EKG is basically electrodes that they place on your chest wall to determine the electrical activity of your heart. Once that is determined, if you have a normal EKG, then they will progress to other tests. You will have blood tests drawn. And the focus of these blood tests will be on the troponin levels. If they are abnormal, out of range, then it is an indicator of whether you are having a heart attack or not. So that is a very important test to determine or to rule out heart attack and possible cardiac arrest. My final but extremely important tip for this video is aspirin. So it is known that aspirin is likely to prevent muscle damage in the event that you are having a heart attack. So generally uh, what you want to do when you initially notice that you're having a heart attack or having symptoms of a heart attack, you want to call 911, follow their instructions, and generally they will ask you if you have aspirin nearby to either place an aspirin under your tongue or chew it. And the purpose of doing this is that in the event you are having a heart attack, this will help to prevent you from experiencing muscle damage to the heart. 
Hope this helps. If the content in this video is informative to you, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, take great care. And remember, when the body talk, we listen because our life depends on it. Please understand that the information on this page is for educational purposes only. It is not in any way intended to diagnose anyone's medical condition. Please contact your doctor first before trying these recommended preventive care measures. If you have a medical emergency, I strongly recommend that you call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room for further evaluation. Thank you for stopping by. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel if this content is helpful to you. I would love to have you in our community. And always remember, when the body talk, listen, because your life depends on it.